Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It is Wednesday, the 15th of November, 2023. Delighted to see you here, as always. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of what is a very interesting Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw a very strong session for US equities, the Nasdaq finishing up in excess of 2.5%. The Russell absolutely exploded and up over 5% as the markets responded very positively to softer than expected US CPI data. The other thing that's occurred really since market close has been that, that the US House has passed interim funding for the government. Remember, that was due to expire on the 17th of November. So that's a really key thing as well. That was obviously something that could have popped up uh, in the next week that would be concerning but that's now been pushed back and there'll be a big fight come the back end of january on the next round of funding but that's another tick which is supporting a very risk on attitude for markets right now uh, the u.s futures are mildly higher in early asian trading not surprisingly asian markets are positive following that strong u.s lead the asx up around about 1.5 percent with the only sector to the downside is the energy sector which obviously responded to a slightly weaker oil price overnight VIX is weaker not surprisingly on the equity strength and it's at seven week lows and european futures are pointing to a strongly positive open if you look at where european markets closed yesterday to where the futures are now us dollar index dropped sharply to 12 week lows and breached the 200 ama on that cpi number gold has had a v-shaped bounce although it's paused a little bit in asia hasn't continued to follow through and that bounce wasn't quite as significant perhaps as one might expect with the degree of drop in the USD. But it's early days and certainly worth keeping an eye on. We also saw copper move back towards the top of the medium term trading range. And that's looking as though it could be priming for a move higher. We did have some Chinese industrial production numbers which have just been released, which may help it higher still. Oil pulled back mildly overnight, remains close to mid July levels, although pretty neutral again in Asia today. Bitcoin, which has been one of the key stories of the last two or three weeks, has pulled back again from those 18-month highs it hits, although it has paired losses late in the US session. So we are looking to see what the next move is on this. It looks as though most of the profit taking might be done, and we're waiting to get a substantive move either way to see if it's going to drop further or whether it's going to retest those highs. Which is the end of earnings. The Middle East situation continues to be a market concern. On the data front, we've had Japanese GDP, which is softer than expected. Chinese retail sales and industrial production both higher than was anticipated by market consensus. And a busy day throughout, irrespective of where you are on the planet. Uh, we've got uh, the CPI and PPI numbers coming out of the UK. Uh, later on, we've got Eurozone trade balance and industrial production numbers uh, and the US. Tonight, we've got retail sales and PPI. Goldilocks would be that the PPI is softer and the retail so sales is also not too hot and that would probably further precipitate some buying one would suggest a couple of charts of core are just today we're going to start with the fx market and look at the swiss yen you can see there that we are already today testing highs hit yesterday is looking quite strong on this 30 minute chart we would expect it at least to test that r1 level at 169.69 uh, possibly a move up to 170 maybe one even 170 25 so a possible move up there of 20 to 30 pips from where we're trading now uh, and then another 30 pips up to 170 is possible lots to choose from on the sx we are keeping an eye on zero we've got this v-shaped potential bounce here we're looking for a move back over 103.78 which could send us in the medium term up to around about this 111 figure as well that would be a substantial return on investment and this fundamentally is a fairly strong stock we did have this blip here uh, but we think that's probably overdone the market's obviously responding to that already uh, so an eight percent move to the upside is very possible one to check out towards the back end of the trading day trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now